Alright guys, guess what? Finally, I have the 1430 S line F4 lenses for the Nikon Z6. So before we're gonna open it and check out the quality of this, I would like to actually uh, update the firmware for the Nikon Z6. So let's do a quick unboxing to see what we have inside the 1430. So, warranty card, instruction manual, port, yep. surprisingly very thin. Okay. And 1430 F4 S line. So, this lens uses a 82mm diameter filter thread. It's also a Collapsible lens. Okay, so we have to twist to collapse it to for storage. Okay. So what I have here is four ultra wide angle. This is the fourteen thirty f four s line. This is the sixteen thirty five f four f mount. This is the FAME 1424-28 F-mount and this is the least expensive of the all the 10 to 20 DX lenses. So if you are using it for vlogging, so which is the best choice? I know that most uh, YouTube content already uh, shown up how great is this uh, new S-line lens when comparing to the 1635 and also the 1424. How will this compare if you're using it just for vlogging? So let's dive into it and see which of this is the best lens for you to do your vlogging. Alright, so this is the first test using the 1020. Now I'm on the 20mm end. So now I'm zoomed out. So this is the on the further end 10 millimeters. So this is the usual working test using the Nikon Z6. So in terms of focusing, let's see. Alright, so now this is the 1635 F4 F mount. So now on the uh, telephoto N35. So now I'm going to twist it to this 16mm. Okay, so this is a slightly heavier lens. So I'm doing a walking test now to see how it will perform on a daily basis for vlogger. So this is the third lens, the 1424F28. This is a very heavy lens for vlogging. <laughs> so now I'm on the uh, telephoto end of 24mm. So let's zoom in to 14mm. So let's do a walking test to see if this is the perfect lens for vlogging purpose. So this is really really heavy
Okay guys, this is the 1430 F4 uh, S-Line lens and this is on the telephoto end so let's now zoom in and uh, zoom out so now we are on the 14mm so let's do a simple working test so this lens is slightly lighter okay so how will the autofocus perform So I think this lens would be the perfect vlogging test if you are using it uh, for the Nikon Z series because this uh, Z mount lens will give you the full width uh, sensor readout and I think you will see better bokeh the background blur from this lens because this is the f4 lens so the question of the day is that should you be getting this 1413 new lens over the other three ultra wide angle lens which I have just tested just now. So if you are doing a video a lot, I think there's no uh, reason to actually consider other lens besides this because this 1430 have uh, the full frame look for you. And also the autofocus performance on this uh, lens is much better because it's a drive-by-wire system. One of the most important thing I think for most video user is that this 1430 lens can put on a filter. Uh, it's actually an 82mm filter so you can put on any CPL or perhaps you can buy those 100mm uh, square filter type you just can just put in no problem so if you are really on budget of course you can also consider the AFP 10 to 20 mm lenses of course you will lose out the uh, bokeh from the F4 and of course beside the uh, full frame look from what you will be getting from the AFP uh, versus the uh, as line you also lose out some sharpness that you can find uh, in this uh, 1430 mm lens this is absolutely a very sharp lens and the distortion from this lens is actually uh, very minimal so I think this will be the best uh, vlogging setup currently available from Nikon so I'll see you in the next video and remember to subscribe to the channel here. Yeah? Thanks.